7.3 Solving equations using backtracking Sometimes when we solve algebraic equations the solution is quite easy to see For example, if we had a question such as x plus 1 equals 4 we know that x, we add on 1 and we get 4 so x is 1 less than 4, so therefore x is 3. And this is a quite simple example. But we use other methods such as backtracking to solve equations that are a little bit harder to understand and a little bit uh, where the answer is not so obvious to start with. Now, the first thing I want to discuss is operations in their inverse. So I've got the four operations listed here. Inverse just means the opposite of. So the opposite of plus is minus. The opposite of minus is plus. The opposite of times is divide and the opposite of divide is times. This is basically how we undo these operations and you'll see how we need that in just a moment. So I worked example 6. It's on page 387. Copy and complete the following simplified flow charts to show the order of operations needed to build and undo the expression. Alright, so our expression is this one here I've written over on the side here for you. So 4x plus 5. And we represent it with these boxes which is this flow chart. If we think about our x, the first thing we have is 4x, which is the 4 times x. So to get from x to 4x, we're multiplying by 4. Once we've done that bit, this is the next part of our expression, plus 5. So we're plusing on 5. So to get from here to here, what we need to do is plus, oops, plus 5. Now, the inverse of plus 5 is minus 5. So to get from here back to here, we're subtracting 5. To get from here back to here, we need to know the inverse of times 4, which is divide by 4. And we've completed that question. We copied it out, we completed it in the bits. In part B, same thing. We've got 6x minus 3. That's our expression. So the first thing we have is our x, and we're timesing it by 6. So we times our x by 6 to get to 6x. And what do we do to him? to get to this spot over here. We have this minus 3 on the end, so we're subtracting 3. So if we were backtracking and working from this back to this, which is what we'll end up doing, we need to know the inverses. And in going from here back to here, we will actually solve our equation, or we will find a solution, as in we will work out what x actually is, what number it is. So the inverse of minus 3 is plus 3, so it's like if we plus 3 to this, we'll end up with that. Because negative 3 plus 3 is 0, it cancels out, we're just left with our 6x. The inverse of the times by 6 is divide by 6. Okay, so to get from there to there, we're dividing by 6, because that's 6 times x. 6 divided by 6 is 1, which is just 1x, which is what we have there. Worked example 7. There's two parts of these questions. Write down 1, the equation to be solved, and 2, the solution to the equation shown in each of the following flow charts. Complete the flow chart if necessary. So what we're working out here is, what is the equation that we're dealing with, and what is the value of our unknown, our variable, our x. So in part A, this is what we're given. So we know that when we start with x, we times it by 2, we get 2x. We subtract 4, we get 2x minus 4. Now the idea of these two levels of the boxes is that this bit equals what's underneath. So, in part 1, we need to write down our equation. It's going to be 2x minus 4, and this equals this bit below it equals 6. 2x minus 4 equals 6 is our equation. Part B, 
part two. We need to work out what our solution is. As in, x equals what? So, you can see I've got my operation up here, minus four, my inverse, plus four. Times two, divided by two. Six plus four is 10. 10 divided by two is five, because that's the inverse of what we're doing on the top there. So x equals five. And we're finished. Part B, same question. One, write down what this, the equation is. And two, write down the solution. All right, so we're starting with an x and we're subtracting four, x minus four. We're then dividing all of that by two. So we're gonna have x minus four divided by two. And I know that that equals what's in the box below. So part one, my equation x minus 4 over 2 equals 3. My solution, x equals what? So, divide by 2 times 2 is my opposite. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract 4, plus 4 is my inverse. 6 plus 4 is 10. Therefore, x equals 10. It's that simple. I just filled in the missing bits and write down my answer at the bottom there. In these parts, often you need to build this bit below, uh, underneath, with the understanding that that equals that, and so on. And you can see how I worked through it. I worked up and worked back down, which is my backtracking step. Worked example eight. Draw a flow chart and use backtracking to solve the equation 3x plus four equals 13. All right, so let's start with our, um, our flow chart. I'm gonna start with x. Now, what am I doing to my x? I'm multiplying by three times three, which will give me 3x. Then I'm adding on 4. Three x plus four. And I know that three x plus four equals thirteen. So it equals thirteen. Okay, so let's work backwards. Now, if that's a plus four. The inverse of that would be minus 4. 13 minus 4 is 9. And this is the box I need to get my solution for x. So times 3 is what I had, because that's times 3, x times 3, divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So therefore, x equals 3. That is my solution to the equation. Work to example nine. Draw a flow chart and use backtracking to solve the equation x divided by four minus one equals two. Check your solution using substitution. So the only extra step we've got this, uh, this time is to check our solution. So the first part's exactly the same. So we start with our box in our flow chart for x. What have I done to my x? I've divided by four. Divide by four. And that gave me x over four. I then subtracted one. Notice how I'm working. I started with my x. Of what was the closest thing? It was the divide by four. Once I've done that, I've got the minus one. And I've done everything on this left-hand side. And I know that everything on this left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So that equals two. Okay, let's start backtracking. Build the boxes underneath. And this is the one I wanna get to. 
So the opposite of minus 1 is plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Who says maths is hard? The opposite of times divided by 4 is times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Therefore, x equals 12. Now, we need to check the solution by substitution. So what we're going to do, I'll use a new page. So I know that x equals 12. My equation was x over 4 minus 1 equals 2. Okay, and x should equal 12. So I put a 12 in where there's an x. 12 over 4 minus 1 equals 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Minus 1 equals 2. There we go. And you can clearly see that the left hand side equals the right hand side, therefore true. We know we've got the right solution.